This is the video for lesson 23 on my website, Reading Simple Bar Graphs. This is a very easy lesson that introduces you to a topic that comes up again and again in later math, so make sure that you understand the general idea. Here we have a simple bar graph, or you could call it a bar chart. Let's take a look at what, what this chart is showing us. First of all, we always want to look at the title, which is typically at the top. In this case, the title is Student Progress. We don't know exactly what that means, but obviously it will show us something about what some students are doing. Then we have two axes. Along the vertical axis here, it says gold stars earned this week. So we're going to see something about how many gold stars some students earned during, this, during a particular week. Also along the vertical axis are numbers from 0 to 7. So this will actually show us how many stars they earned. Now along the horizontal axis, we have the names of four different students. So what we can see so far is that this chart will show us how each of these four students are doing this particular week as far as gold stars are concerned. Now let's take a look at this first bar for Rachel. To see how many gold stars she has, all we do is look to see how high the bar reaches. And then we look over to the left we can see it reaches two, so she has two gold stars. This is very simple. For John, we go up to the top of the bar, go over to the left, it goes up to the number five line, he has five gold stars. And continuing, Lisa has four gold stars, and Mike has six gold stars. This is just a very basic example, but later on we'll see more complicated bar charts. Let's now take a look at another example. This example is a tiny bit different, Let's take a look at the title, Steve's Monthly Reading Progress. That gives us an idea of what the chart will be showing us. Along the vertical axis, it says number of books read by Steve. Now here this is a little different. Here we can see that we're counting by twos. Each line is representing two books and not one. Now that's okay as long as we're just careful to make sure that we remember that each line does represent two and not one. Very often you'll see something like that. Now along the horizontal axis, we have four different months of the year. So we'll see how many books he read in each of these four months. Let's take a look at the first bar. It goes up to this line, and looking to the left, we can see that in August he read 12 books. In September, we can see that he read four books. Now in October, the bar goes halfway between the 8 line and the 10 line. So it's pretty easy to deduce that what it represents is nine. He read nine books in October. In November, the bar goes up to the number six line, so he read six books. This lesson is just a very basic introduction. Later we'll work with bar graphs in more detail.